In this video segment for the Dutch Cottage Design Project, we're going to take a look at video number two for the foundation, foundation options, and framing, including both truss and joists. Let's go into the program and take a look. In the previous video segment, we had built the main floor, and now we're going to move down and build our basement or our foundation. Underneath the build menu, you'll find underneath the floor, build foundation. When this dialog comes up, there are a few different options you can build it. To begin with, let's build it just on a slab, and then we'll take a look at what the program builds for us. It automatically moved our camera position down to floor zero, and you can see underneath of the slab that it built. Now let's undo that and rebuild a full basement. So as I go back into the build menu here, let's go back in and choose our foundation. In this case, I'm going to set our wall height to be to give us a full height ceiling, and I'm also going to hang the floor platform. That's going to give us a basement ceiling. It does a calculation for us at 9 feet or 108. Now in this case, the program is going to ask us, since we're building a full foundation, if we want to derive it from the main floor, which of course that's the easiest way to do it. Now notice in the foundation section when we built that, the garage indicator above caused that to build on slabs. So the intelligence in there allowed that to build the slab and then build the full basement in the other area. Now let's shift F6 on the keyboard and split our screen. And what I want to do for the foundation is on the right side of the foundation, I want to create a crawl space. On my floor plan on the right, on floor one, I'm going to select this wall and I'm going to mark this as a bearing wall. So on the structure panel, I'm just going to mark this to be a bearing wall. And you can see what's going to happen in the foundation here. Let's go ahead and broaden this view up. And we'll rotate around a little bit. Now for this crawl space, I'm going to select the room. And I'm going to open it up. And underneath the structure, I'm going to reduce the stem wall to just be 37 and a half and raise that up. Now one of the things that I like to do in my crawl space is First of all, mark that there is no finished floor. So let's go ahead and just remove that. And most of the time, you're probably going to just remove the floor out of this altogether. But in my case, I want to show that as dirt because I like to see that in the 3D view. So I'm just going to change the typical 4-inch slab that would be in your basement. And I'm going to find uh, dirt. So let's go in and do a search for that. Find one here that we like. And we'll go ahead and close that dialog up and turn off our automatic foundation, which is fine. And now you can see what we have. And I like to see that visually so we can determine what it is. In the full basement section, I want to change the walls in that living space to have sheetrock. I'm going to select our walls. In this case, I'm going to use the wall break tool and I'm going to create a notch at these intersections using the break tool. That way I can uniquely identify these four walls to have a sheetrock layer on them. So let's go ahead and open those walls up. And underneath the wall types, I'm going to choose the different style of wall that I have. And I have one that is a furred sheetrock. And let's go ahead and look at the way I've defined this. My main layer is the concrete. I have a one inch air gap. I have a stud that is a two by four and then I have our drywall at a half inch. You can see the 2D view over here. Go ahead and close that dialog and you can see the update. And for the other three walls here, let's go ahead and actually create an, a break in this case. I want them to be insulated because they're above condition space. I'll select these three walls and I'm going to make the same sort of change. I'm going to change the wall to be a foam insulation. Again, all I've done here is gone in and added rigid foam insulation of two inches on that. And now you can see in 3D the way that looks. And that will provide some added R value for that living space above. The next step is let's build our floor framing. And before I do that, let's change our layer set to be our framing set. And now underneath the build menu, let's go into the framing for the floor, for the foundation. And I'm going to build the floor framing. And we'll go ahead and set that to be automatic. 
and you'll be able to see that in the 2D view and then in the 3D view all we need to do is change our layer set for the camera. There is one called 3D framing set and you can see the way that uh, framing looks in that view. Let's go ahead and rotate around so you can see in a similar fashion with the 2D. So that is building the eye joist and it's 11 by 7 8 and the reason we know that is because in the floor diagram, if we go up to the main floor here, in the floor defaults, you'll notice the floor structure has indicated that it's 11 and 7 8 down here. And that's how the framing works for your floors, your walls, and your roofs. Now for the full basement area, let's assume that you don't want to run a soffit for your HVAC and you'd rather use a floor truss. You can actually use the truss tool and run your HVAC through there. Let's just uh, come in here and for the time being, I'm going to turn off our wall layer so we can get in here and remove those components off of here. And let's just draw a marquee around our floor joist. So I'm just going to come in and draw a marquee around these and I'm going to delete them. That will turn off the automatic framing when we do that. Go ahead and turn that off. And so now we have the space in here. We're just going to draw a floor truss in here. And the floor truss is going to want to snap to your sill plates. So for the time being, I'm also going to just delete those. Use Control X to cut them on the keyboard here. And then we'll use our floor truss tool. And we'll just come over here and we'll drag in a floor truss. You can see that floor truss. Let's pull it out here just a little bit. I'm not going to worry too much about the dimension. We'll just pull that in this area right here. Then I'll use the multiple copy that you'll find in the lower section of your menu. And we'll just drag a series of those at two foot on center. And you can see that back in there. And then we'll use control and paste and hold position to put those sill plates back in. And now you can see that you have your floor trusses, which you can now run your HVAC in. I'm going to rebuild the foundation and get it back to the joists. We'll just go back into the build framing dialog and I'm going to put those back to be our regular floor joists for the time being. All right, so we're back to the floor joists in the basement. And if you zoom in, you can see that we've actually hung our floor platform so that the joists are sitting down below the foundation walls and they are then even with the sill plate. Well, that wraps up the options for the foundation, creating the foundation with a slab or a mono slab, moving to a full basement. We then created a split basement with a crawl space on the right hand side, changed our wall types to have different wall types, and then we did our framing on here. In the next video segment, we'll take a look at building our roof and our roof options.